Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. I do pray that you are doing well on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Hope you're getting ready to cook dinner or have already gotten ahead of the game and cooked it. I'm just getting started. So what I'm doing now is starting to season some boneless beef short ribs. I'm just going to stick them in the oven today. Uh, and then when they get done, I'm going to put barbecue sauce on them, run them back to it and let them uh, glaze on. I'm going to fry up some chicken, some corn, uh, some whole kernel corn out of the can. Yes, I am. And some lima beans and probably some fried rice. So this is going to be a real simple dinner, a lot of it, because uh, we eat a lot. We want leftovers. So what I'm sprinkling on now is um, a couple of tablespoons of garlic powder. I normally do this overnight but I didn't do it overnight this time a couple tablespoons of uh, onion powder get all these seasonings going and this is my everything but the kitchen cabinet seasoning Let's get them seasoned up real good get that flavor thrown and then when I put that barbecue sauce on we're gonna have something good on the plate y'all so hope y'all been having a God blessed day so far hope all is well hope the weather is doing well for you um, you know, uh, oh boy, things happen every day of the week, good, bad, in between, and, you know, we have to pray and roll with it, live with it, you know, sickness, death, disappointment, all those things happen, and unfortunately, when they do, they kind of hit us uh, in a hard spot, so I've had a small uh, tragedy as far as death is concerned. Not in my immediate family, but in my, you know, I, I'll say immediate family because it's happened to someone that was near and dear who I've known since she was in the fifth grade. Um, I'm walking away. I'm coming right back. <sighs> Look for the black pepper people. Oh, excuse me, I had to walk away. I thought I had my black pepper, but I didn't. I'm going to have to find the black pepper. This is a little uh, seasoning called Slap Your Mama. Mm, nobody, I hope nobody get brave enough to do that. But that's supposed to be how good this sauce is. So it's just put a little heat to uh, the mixture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub these babies down really, really good. I put paprika on them. Uh, smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, everything but the kitchen cabinet seasoning and uh, that slap your mama seasoning. It's supposed to be that good. We'll see. I've used it before. I guess it's good. I don't think it made me slap nobody, let alone my mom. But anyway, we're going to get these all seasoned up and then they're going to go in my uh, cast iron baking pan that will help to make them nice and tender. I did put a little uh, tenderizer on them in the beginning. We use tenderizer. Now make sure that you rub it in really, really good so it won't just mush up the top of your meat. It does work, but you got to work it right. Um, and as I was saying, I had, whew, unfortunately, one of my, uh, I'll say adopted children from when, ever since fifth grade, I've known this young lady. And well, she's 40 something now. I wish she lost someone close to her. So, of course, I feel that pain. Um, I feel that pain. I haven't spoken with her, but I did send her a message. And like I said, when people are in pain or you know they need to hear from you, uh, text message. Thank God for technology. Text message, uh, um, voicemail, letter card, whatever. If you can't get in touch with them face-to-face. -face. So, anyway, I sent her a message and, you know, how God always works things and comes to your rescue or sends you things when you need them. Um, my Bible study that I look at, like I, I shared with you all that I have on my phone this morning, when it popped up, praise God, it said, uh, it was Corinthians, 1 Corinthians um, 15, 25, and 26, and it talks about how God... Um, wants to take away all the hurt and pain. How Jesus is coming back to take away all the hurt and the pain. And the last thing that he will conquer will be death. 
But until then, we're going to have to endure. So that would be what I would reach out to her and say, and to anybody else that's listening who's lost a loved one, because this very death is very, he's going to take the sting out of death. So that's going to be his last, the last enemy, according to 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 25, and 26. That's going to be the last enemy to us because death hurts no matter how prayed up we are or how spiritual we are how strong we are death still has its sting and so according to the word of God that's going to be the last thing that God will conquer and again until that happens we have to endure just keep it going, keep on praying, stay faithful. That's why I always say pray without ceasing because we never know. We all, in some way, form, or fashion, will have to experience death. We experience it sometime on this side where we grieve for loved ones, and sometimes it's us. So, But, you know, it's, it's always a very difficult thing to endure. So um, suffice it to say that we need that prayer going up. So on behalf of, of my family, I would just ask that you pray the strength of this young lady, that she will feel the ever-loving arms and the comfort of the Lord as she goes through her trial, and that she will come to know that one of these days we won't have to go through this stuff. So that that's the good news about death. One day, Maybe tomorrow, the next day, a hundred years from now, but one day, that part of life will be no more. So, hope you're getting your food all ready to get it in the pan and in the stove. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these ready to go over here now. They're going to go into a 375 degree oven for a couple of hours. And then after that, I'll go ahead and put my um, sweet baby rays. I'm going to just get it mixed all up and put on there. So here we go. Let's get over here to the stove. This is, let me see, I'll tell you exactly how many pounds is here. It's quite a bit because I opened four packages. So let's just put my baking dish. Like so, this a big old heavy baking dish too, y'all, by the way. But it cooks some good food. It tenderizes and cooks really, really good, just so you can see it. Okay. Um, somebody had asked me, before, before do I get my cookware, this is a... Uh, um, this is by Dance. It's a Mario Batali pan. If I had to look up on to make sure. Yes, Mario Batali. Mario Batali is a great chef. He makes good cookware that cooks food to perfection. This is an old pan. Probably six or seven years old. Hold on just a minute. And, uh, hang on a minute. Okay, Kyle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get these. I've sprayed my pan. Um, sometimes this kind of stuff is prone to stick. So I'm just going to place them in here. And then this is a deep baking dish. I think I got about four times six. I either got 18 or 24, I'll tell you in a minute. Either 18 or 24 uh, of these boneless pieces of beef. So these are going to be wonderful y'all I think I'm going to start them out yeah it's going to leave the lid well I'm going to start them out because I don't want a lot of, of uh, juice in there okay I'll have to cook it off if I do at some point after about an hour I'm going to take the top off and just cook them without a lid on so that pan is full Okay. There they are. Beautiful. This probably is enough for 12 people. And then I'm going to fry some chicken. Um, and make the other side. So y'all hang on. I'm going to go ahead and put these in now. 
I'm going to let them cook for one hour, then I'll take the, the time to put a piece of foil on top of that. And then after an hour, I'm going to just take the foil off. And I'm doing all this to tenderize. Okay, so hold on, and I'll be back in an hour. Okay, now they're ready to go. I'm not covering it too, 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 too tight, but just enough to hold in some of that steam, and that'll help to tenderize. So, whoa. You think that pen is heavy with uh, into the oven makeup. So that pan is heavy. Whew. That is uh, 10 pounds of meat. Okay, y'all, we'll be back in an hour. Okay, y'all, it's time to fry some chicken. It's all seasoned, battered. Y'all can talk, you just hit all over top of Get ready to put it in the, in the hot grease, y'all. So hold on. It'll be ready in about 45 minutes. Chickens are frying. It'll be done in about all 10. I think we got 10. 10. About 45 minutes, y'all. It's on its way. We're going to get these side dishes going. Got some corn on the cob. Not on the cob, but some... Um, some corn. These are kings of corn, y'all, by the way. About three cans of that corn. Y'all know I'm going to use it up with butter and brown sugar. Couple tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah. Okay, and we'll get it going, boil it real good. Put a lid on it. A lot of work. Is it going right? Yeah, it's going right. Teaspoon of uh, black pepper. I'm going to go ahead and just put the lid on and let it cook and all that, that the butter and the sugar will cook in. I had already put the butter and took the pan, so we got that going. I might do some free potatoes, y'all. Right and next we're going to do some um, sauteed kale with onions and peppers. I've already chopped my peppers and onions. Okay. There we go, right there. Come here, Belly. You want to be on the camera? What you say? No. Ah. Come here. Bella, here I come. Got Bella in the house. This is Lisa's little sweetie pie. This is Lisa. Say hey. She said hey. This is a future cook, y'all. Little Bella. Yeah, you gonna help me cook? Alright, she likes my little camera stand. Hey, children. Don't you just love them little ones? Let me get back over on the stove. You know you have to get them little ones involved, honey. I got everything in the world. All of these I'm still in, in the thicket of cooking. I'm cooking late. Not late, but I'm just taking my time. I don't feel like giddy up, giddy up for these days. Okay, we're just going to let those uh, peppers and onions saute until they get a little bit wilted, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, get them kind of translucent, then I'm going to season them, and I'm going to throw the kale right in on top of them. Okay, now we got the kale in. I'm going to start putting the seasons in. This is that chicken bouillon seasoning. About a big teaspoon of that. Don't need to put a whole lot of seasoning in here. Just 
Oh. And the kale will absorb a lot. Okay. And what I'll do is just gradually add it. And add the seasoning to it. And then we just can of stir fry our kale. Just a, a green vegetable, because I really didn't have a green vegetable plan that I was going to use today. So there's one I want to do. Okay, okay. Get my chairs over there looking at MMA boxing. You hear voices. This is what it's about. It makes me feel like it was when they were little growing up, when I'm in the kitchen cooking and they and they're talking and enjoying life, y'all. You know, this is what life is all about family and friends. I had friends over last Sunday. Oh, you know, that's right, Miss. You were here last Sunday for Belinda and this thing. Um, oh, did you ever meet Belinda and Dwayne Banks? Okay. They were, well, they've been long, long time family friends, you know, we all went to the same church. And they came. They called me early last Sunday morning and said, okay, it's time, we, it's been too long, we need to get to your table. I told them, come right on. And we had a nice visit with them. Okay, a little bit more, and this is my, my veggie. Chicken bouillon season two, by the way, y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna let that saute. It'll take about 15 minutes for it to saute. And you know, everything will wilt down. And it's gonna be delicious. Okay, my chicken is cooking nicely. I'm gonna flip, I flip it for three times. I need some big old drumsticks. So this is the last time. I'm gonna let it just cook and get real nice and crunchy. My uh, ribs, my boneless ribs are just about done. I'm, all I need to do with those is go ahead and put some uh, barbecue sauce on and let them glaze over. And this dinner is coming to an end, y'all. Just about to finish it. So this is going to continue to cook. Got my corn on. I think I'm going to do some cream potatoes. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, those ribs have cooked. Now what I'm doing is pour barbecue sauce on. I'm just going to take and toss them just like so. Toss them. Aren't those beautiful? They're so deep, dark, and wonderful with that um, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And I'm, all I'm doing to them, they're done. They're real, real tender. Oh, see how tender they are? Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is just run them back through the oven with the uh, barbecue sauce on so they will glaze over. So these babies are ready. Chicken's almost ready. The green's almost ready. And we're going to be ready to chow down here shortly. So hold on. Don't go nowhere. Dinner is served. We are serving y'all. I forgot to show y'all before everybody saw it. But we eat now. This is dinner. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, y'all. Dinner is served. Now, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for your well wishes, encouragement, and your prayers. Listen, y'all, keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Keep praying without ceasing. Continue to be kind for one another. By all means, continue to cook that food in that kitchen. Make somebody's day. Listen, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. It's hot in this kitchen. I'm getting ready to get out of it. Hope y'all enjoy it. Thank y'all for stopping by. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Until I decide to cook again, toodles. Yeah.